Hi, Kishan Panchal here. Today we are going to install Green Plum backup and restore utilities, go through all the commands, procedures, and start working with Green Plum backup and restore utilities. Green Plum database support parallel and non parallel methods for backing up and restoring database. Parallel operation scales regardless of number of segments in your system because segment hosts each write their data to a local disk storage similarity with non-parallel backup and restore operation the data must be sent over the network from the segment to the master which writes all the data to its storage in addition to restrict io on one host non-parallel backup requires that the master have sufficient local disk storage to store the entire database here my green plum database as well as my green plum command center is up and running Let's start installing the green from backup and restore you. At first, go to VMware doc and check for the installation guide for green from database backup and restore utilities. In this VMware document, you will find each and every command you will require. In the latest version, user can now restore data to a cluster that has a different number of segments then the cluster from which the data was backed up using the new resize cluster option the backup set must be taken with gp backup with version 1.26.0 or later and must be located in a shared storage location to which both green plum cluster have access download the green plum backup and restore utilities from the vmware product Select the backup utility version as per your Green Plum cluster version as well as your OS. Now we are going to update our duplicate command with the new link for the Green Plum backup and restore utilities. Update the file name. As well as our authentication token from our VMware user profile. Execute our duplicate command. Install the green pump backup and restore using the GPP KG utility. Performing backups regularly ensure that you can restore your data or rebuild your Green Pump database system if data corruption or system failure occur. You can also use GP backup to migrate data from one Green Plum database system to another. Verify the installation. Here I have restarted one of the segment host intentionally. We will monitor the green plum command center for the current metric what happened here. At first you can see it is showing us the mirror and the primary are down. In your scenario this could happen. In any case, if your server gone for unscheduled reboot or if you are having a hardware failure. So first we will go to the segment status and check the status of the segments. And we are going to monitor the load as well as the disk space and verify which segment and mirrors are down. We can also quickly check via CLI just execute GP state hyphen E and it will list us the primary and the mirror which are down. But here our database is still available. That's all for today. Thank you guys. We will connect in the session three where we are going to troubleshoot our green plum cluster and perform recovery rebalance. Go through all the fault tolerance and the high availability feature of Green Plum database 
can be configured